Okay, this is how we're going to estimate the arc sine of minus 0.95 using the unit circle. Remember the way sine works. You plug in a t value and the answer is a y coordinate. So what happens with arc sine is that you're plugging in a y coordinate and the answer is a t value. So what we want to do now is draw that horizontal line at minus 0.95. Now there's one minus 0.5, not far enough, not far enough. It's way, 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 way down here. So it looks like there's two numbers we're going to have to be concerned with. <clears throat> Let's find the first one first and then I will discuss this. Um, let's see here. I'm going to go negative because I need to find close. This is about negative 0.8. I'm thinking this is about negative 1.2 right on the button. So what I would do at the moment is say, hey, negative 1.2 looks pretty close. But what about the other one? Well, this isn't like solving equations. Uh, this is a function, which means when we plug in one number, we're supposed to get one answer. And the one answer you always get from inverse trig functions is the closest one. So this is the only answer we need, and it's right.